Hey, hello everyone. This is Rocket City RVer back here again. Uh, just got back from Lowe's picking up some PEX fittings. Going to show you what I've been doing. Uh, just a few little minor things going to work on today. Going to break this project up in little pieces. Uh, so I just got through. All right, so let's show you. Uh, you got a crew of a crew of people who say don't use PEX in RVs. I don't see any reason why you can't use PEX in RVs. Uh, I'm an engineer. These have a have an O-ring seals that that seals quite good. Um, in fact, being an O-ring seal, it should be better than a fixed fitting, in my opinion. But uh, I'm sure you'll have arguments about that, but it's fine. Uh, today, what I'm doing is very straightforward. As you can see, the cat is in here with me today. Hello to Spotalina. Say hello, Spotalina. There you go. All right, so um, I am, I have carefully measured and I have drilled access holes for the drain and the water to come into the bottom of the slide. As you can see, right here. Uh, I'm using some non-standard kind of fittings. Uh, these are actually uh, access holes to the, through, the, uh, through like a desk or something for wires. But I wanted a nice little something that was plastic, uh, a little bit more durable than just having a wood edge here. I already have the holes drilled. They fit in perfectly. They also don't hit the slide when it's closed over here. You can't see that real well, but uh, perfect place for them. And I'm going to use some Lexel and Lexel those in place. As you can see here though, the factory did a totally fantastic job with their ceiling for this gas line. There's actually a hole already all the way into the slide there. I'm gonna seal that up really good with some Lexel too. And I will add to this video, I'm gonna get it all done to, to uh, kind of show where we are and see what it looks like. All right, so there you go. Again, I'm using some non-standard parts here, but looking across the internet, I couldn't really find the same piece that was used when the camper was manufactured, which is this one. But it's just a piece of plastic. It's the same thing. Uh, uh, don't know which these holes will be. One will be the one will be the uh, drain line. The other will be the water line. And then once I get them in there and secured, I'll bring them down here and secure them with some C-clamps. And then I will literally Lex L over these holes just like I did here. Uh, and I'll do that in the next couple of days. All right, here's my holes from the top side. I actually think I did a better job than the factory did. They're perfect alignment to the wall. Uh... That's going to work perfect. Location is almost ideal. Anyway, all right, thanks. Okay, so last little project of the day I have completed. I'm going to take a little break after this. Uh, is I got the water line for the dishwasher tied in to the trailer water. I'll show you what that looks like it involves crawling under the trailer as you can see 
and here we go this is the original trailer hot water line right here the dishwasher gets tied into that I'm not happy with that curvature but that's the curvature I had to deal with if it leaks which I don't think it will but if it does I'll come up with a different solution um, I put in a cutoff valve right here so that I can turn the hot water off if I need to there's gonna be another one up above but it won't be as accessible at least you can at least crawl under the trailer and turn the hot water off if you wanted to and then come up here and this fitting I forget what it's called but it's actually screwed into the bottom into the bottom of the floor of the trailer so that it, it is sturdy on there and that is where the moving line this line here actually moves back and forth when the when the slide moves in and out and I have uh, moved that back and forth several times and it is it works pretty good and it doesn't hit anything it goes actually works pretty well so anyway that's that's what we got it uh, we should have we should have some hot water up there as soon as I plumb the rest of it up to the top anyway